If you want to know how to cook this mouth-watering eye mashy stew, keep on watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be cooking Ayamashi stew. Ayamashi is from the western part of Nigeria. It's a Yoruba dish. It's amazing, it's mouth-watering, it's delicious. And I'm going to make it today. It's such an easy dish to make. Guys, come with me. These are my ingredients. And the most important ingredient of all is the bleached palm oil. If you want to know how to bleach palm oil, click above and you can watch a video that I made earlier. I've got two types of peppers. I've got my chili peppers, my green peppers, onions, and I have beef, shaki, eggs, smoked ground fish, and native Maggie or Iru. So guys, I have chopped my bell peppers, chili peppers, and onions just to make it that much easier for my blender. I'm now gonna blend it with a little bit of water and make it into a smooth consistency. Now that the mixture is nice and blended, I'm now gonna put it in a pot and boil off any of the water that I added to the mixture when I was blending it. So I've now dehydrated my pepper onion mix and this is what it looks like. Most of the water's gone and I'm gonna set this aside while we go to the next step. So I've put my bleached palm oil into a pot and warmed it up a little bit, not too much, otherwise it's gonna continue with the bleaching process. To that, I'm gonna add my onions and my iru, and I'm gonna fry that up until the onions start to float on the oil. Guys, this is heaven for the senses. Look at the colors. The smell is amazing, that combination of the palm oil and the iru beans and the onions, oh my goodness, and the sounds. <laughs> this is why I love cooking so much. Now I'm gonna add in my pepper mixture. So in here I have my blended peppers, my onions. I've dehydrated them to get rid of the water. I'm gonna give it a good stir and let it simmer until the oil sits on the surface of the peppers. Halfway through, I'm gonna take off the lid of the pot, give it a good stir, and I'm going to add my ground smoked fish. Now you can see that the oil is floating on the top of the stew. I'm gonna add my assorted meat, so that's my shaki, and my beef. I'm gonna give it a good stir and let it simmer for about three minutes. So you can see that the stew is looking quite thick, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the beef stock, just to loosen it up a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna give it a good stir, let it simmer, and then the final step will be to check for salt and add the eggs at the end. So the next step is my favorite bit. So I'm gonna test the stew for salt. Mmm, perfect. And then I'm gonna carefully put in the boiled eggs. So I'm just gonna place them in and be careful not to stir too much so you don't scatter them and get a very messy soup. And I'm gonna just leave that for another three to four minutes, and then we're done. Guys, the ayameshe is now done, let me dish up. So here we have it, a simple recipe for ayameshe stew. It looks delicious, I am sure it's gonna taste delicious too. So guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, make sure that you like, share, subscribe to our channel for more amazing recipes, travel, and lifestyle content. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Today, I'm gonna take you on a culinary journey to Western Nigeria, home to the famous Ayamashi stew. Ayamashi can be traced to Ikena in Ogun State, hometown to one Mrs. Felicia Edesina. Auntie Felicia was a rice seller who came up with the recipe to make ends meet. She was affectionately known as Aya Mache, wife of Mache in Yoruba. And then the famous dish was born.
This dish, loved by Nigerians all around the world, is a scrumptious sauce made from green peppers and bleached palm oil served with assorted meat and a fada rice.